All right, Jacqueline's postseason sadness continues, I guess, in Major League Baseball as the Red Sox dominated the Dodgers, winning their fourth uh. World Series title in 15 years' time. So this was the uh, scene in Boston overnight. The win was, of course, out in L.A., but the party was on the East Coast. Fans pouring out into the streets to celebrate. A few of them probably still going at it right now. Oh, for sure. She's got her Dodger blue on, though. You do. W which I told Zach, I honestly accident. didn't. It was an accident. Oh. I, I wasn't thinking that, that, you know. Blue, blue in your heart, always. Yes. Yeah, I'm bleeding blue. Still a Dodgers fan. <laughs> I am. Yeah, a lot of partying out in Boston, but uh, very impressive to make two World Series in a row. There's nothing wrong it with is. that. <laughs> yeah. And then not win. Well, well like, it's disappointing <laughs> for them, but like, it is. No, 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 it's awesome. It's great. There's, there's the moment. Yeah. Well, that's big excited fans. And, you know, Boston fans have had so much to celebrate. First, I mean, we right. remember the curse of the Bambino and the Red Sox are never going to win. Forever. Now yeah. four titles in 15 years' wow. time. Yeah. Uh, and they have a young team, very young team. Yeah. yeah. Could, be, could be making it again. Of course, again, the Dodgers have played so well, making two World Series as well. And the uh, Rangers reached out to the Dodgers <laughs> oh, because yeah. the Rangers so went to the World Series in 2010 and 2011, didn't bring home the yeah. title. So uh, they put out this tweet. Some empathy. Hey, yeah, Dodgers, the support group for back-to-back -back World Series losers meets <laughs> on Tuesdays. And Ouch. if you can make it to two more World Series and lose them, then the Buffalo Bills from the uh, <laughs> early 90s can hang out with you and talk about that, I guess. Bummer. Well, maybe next year. Yeah, maybe. Third time's a charm. Yeah. All right, Matt Damon, Jimmy Kimmel's decade-long rivalry continued at Game 5 of the World Series last night. The two <laughs> spotted at Dodger Stadium sporting <laughs> shirts that read, I was stupid. <laughs> with an arrow pointing to the other. Nice. Damon, the Boston native, wearing a red shirt and Red Sox hat. Kimmel wearing the blue Dodgers hat. Actor Ben Affleck was there with them, did not participate in this, though. Damon and Kimmel have been engaged in a tongue-in-cheek feud for more than a decade now. That's funny. That's, that's good stuff. Yeah, yeah, that was really funny. Okay, we got the first ever remake of the 90s classic, Clueless, in the works, apparently. Some fans are just saying, as if. Ugh. Nice. <gasps> Cher's got attitude about this. Oh, <laughs> great movie. So I want to know what a present day rendition of this team drama would look like. Others say the original is just too good to be remade. Paramount's Tracy Oliver is set to produce that film in a tweet saying she's, quote, crazy excited to be producing the new take on one of my favorite movies of all time, end quote. It was the start of careers for actress Paul Rudd and Alicia Silverstone. We don't know yet if either will appear in this new version. Such a great film. It Never is. forget when I saw that in the theaters for the first time. I don't know how they can remake it, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be fun. They've remade everything else. I That's know. true. I mean, <laughs> that is what it. happens. They may not do very well, but coming. they'll remake it. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Okay. Remember the Bieber burrito? Oh, we were talking yeah. about that a little bit. Leave him alone. Turns out that the whole thing was a big joke. It wasn't him. That. Some YouTube pranksters oh. hired a Justin Bieber lookalike, oh. who that guy was, <laughs> to pretend that the Biebs didn't know how to properly eat a burrito. The guys from Yes Theory finally fessed up, uh, posting, quote, we fooled the internet. Yeah, he did like, it. What if he really ate a burrito like that? Isn't that big of a no, deal? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, Let people, him eat his burrito. there are bigger problems to no worry kidding. about. It's just real messy. That's it's true. Messy. Sometimes, <laughs> though, you're just starving. You're like, ah, I'll just. Have, are significantly bigger <laughs> problems. You don't want the ends of the that, tortilla that, that yeah. don't Let's have any that one more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not how you do it. That poor burrito. It's a burrito, kids, not a harmonica. We don't go at it that way. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> even if you did eat what it, like that, his burrito. let him eat it. Yeah. It wasn't even him, so. <laughs> I know. I know. Let that guy eat his burrito. Yeah. Yeah. I know. All right, for the right prize, you can own Ed Sheeran's underwear. <laughs> Auctioneers in England what have six been? pairs of boxers. Well, <laughs> so those will go for big, I bet. Why six pairs of boxers this? donated by the singer up for auction right now. <laughs> this is part of a fundraiser for British Hospice. Okay. The auction <laughs> also will sell a bunch of Sheeran's Legos, including okay. a life-size sculpture of his head made by Legoland. That's Other nice. items for sale include his bottle cap collection, a stuffed bear that says Ted Sheeran, the top <laughs> part only of his clarinet, and let's not forget his Nintendo game box. The auction's November 10th. I like Ed Sheeran going back to his house saying, Mom, where's what all my stuff? Like, Are these uh, like brand new underwear? I don't know. That's a random collection, though, of things. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like, it's like it's they like gave his, all his stuff away. It's like his mom's like, here, take all your take stuff. I don't here. want it in my house anymore. He's like, well, I'll just donate it then. Bottle cap yeah. collection. Yeah. That's impressive. 